I'm alone for a little while tonight. I can't get comfortable in this bed. Anyhow, <coughs> then there's two sisters and her. They spent the whole evening doing rug hooking and just visiting. And I should say, while they were visiting, they were doing rug hooking. And they had a great time together. But uh, I'm left with the responsibility for a little while, anyhow, to read the first portion, maybe. She's going to join me as soon as they get everything cleaned up as, as they spit up for the night. Anyhow, we're into day 60. 60. I'm, I'm really excited. Day 60. We've made it 60 days. Wow. I'm reading God's Word on a schedule with uh, our daily bread and uh, reading the New International Version. And we're starting in Numbers 23 today. And uh, I'm just going to open in prayer. Awesome Heavenly Father, praise you and thank you for your word. I pray and ask of you, Heavenly Father, that you, as I read this, you will reveal more of yourself to us. Help us to comprehend your word that we may know you better, that we may know you better. We pray for loved ones and friends that are sick tonight. I just uh, ran into an old, old, old friend of mine whose wife is very sick, so I left her before you. And then I ran another old friend of mine, and his wife is also sick. So Lord, we lift them up before you and ask, Lord, that you would touch them. And we thank you for the privilege of asking, because you read you say we are to ask, and so I'm asking on behalf of these people, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Balaam's first oracle. So, Balak has asked Balaam to curse the Israelites, which are coming against them. Now, Balaam said, build me seven altars here. And prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me. Balak did as Balaam said, and the two of them offered a bull and a ram on each offering. Then Balaam said to Balak, Stay here beside your offering while I go aside. Perhaps the Lord will come to meet with me. Whatever he reveals to me, I will tell you. Then he went off to a barren height. God met with him, and Balaam said, I have prepared seven altars. On an each altar, I have offered a bull, a bull and a ram. The Lord put a message in Balaam's mouth and said, Go back to Balak and give him this message. So he went back to him and found him standing beside his offering with all the princes of Moab. Then Balaam uttered his oracle. Balak brought me from Aram, the king of Moab from the eastern mountains. Came, come, he said. Curse Jacob for me. Come, denounce Israel. How can I curse those whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce those whom the Lord has not denounced? From the rocky peaks I see them. From the heights I view them. I see people who live apart and do not consider themselves one of the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob or number the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and may my end be like theirs. Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have done nothing but bless them. He answered, Must I not speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? Now we go to Balaam's second oracle. Then Balak said to him, Come with me to another place. There you can see them. You will see only a part, but not all of them. And from there, curse them for me. So he took him to the field of Zophim, on the top of Pisgah. And there he built seven altars, and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Balaam said to Balak, Stay here aside your offering, while I meet with him over there. The Lord met with Balaam and put a message in his mouth and said, Go back to Balak and give him this message. So he went to him and found him standing beside his offering with the princes of Moab. Balak said to him, What did the Lord say? Then he uttered his oracle. 
Arise, Balak, and listen. Hear me, son of Zippor. God is not a man that he should lie, nor son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have re received a command to bless. He has blessed, and I cannot change it. No misfortune is seen in Jacob. No misery observed in Israel. The Lord their God is with them. The shout of the king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. There is no sorcery against Jacob, no divination against Israel. It will now be said of Jacob and of Israel, See that God see what God has done. The people rise up or rise like a lioness. They rouse themselves like a lion. That does not rest till he devours his prey and drinks the blood of his victim. Then Balak said to Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. Balaam answered, Do I not tell you I must do whatever the Lord says? Balaam's third oracle. You'd think Balaam's starting to get the message here. Then Balak said to Balaam, Come, let me take you to another place. Perhaps it will please God to let you curse them from me from there. And Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor, overlooking the wasteland. Balaam said, Build me seven altars here and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me. Balak did as Balaam had said and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Numbers chapter 24. Now when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he did not resort to sorcery as at other times, but turned his face towards the desert. When Balaam looked out and saw Israel encamped, uh, Israel encamped tribe by tribe, and the Spirit of God came upon him, and he uttered his oracle. The oracle of Balaam, son of Bor, the oracle of one whose eyes see clearly, the oracle of one who hears the words of God, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who falls prostrate, and whose eyes are open. How beautiful are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling place, O Israel. Like valleys they spread out, like gardens beside a river, like aloes planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. Water will flow from the Lord buckets. Their seed will have abundant water. Their king will be greater than Agag. Their kingdom will be exalted. God brought them out of Egypt. You have the strength of a wild ox. They devour hostile nations and break their bones in pieces. With their arrows, they pierce them. Like a lion, they crouch and lie down. Like a lioness who dares to rouse them. May those who bless you be blessed, and those who curse you be cursed. Then Balaam's anger burned against Balaam. He struck his hands together and said to him, I summoned you to curse my enemies, but you have blessed them these three times. Now leave at once and go home. I said I would reward you handsomely, but the Lord has kept you from being rewarded. Balaam answered Balaam, Did I not tell the message you sent me? Even if Balak gave me his palace filled with silver and gold, I could not do anything of my own accordingly. Good or bad, to go beyond the command of the Lord, and I must say only what the Lord says. Now I am going back to my people, but come, let me warn you of what this people will do to your people this day to come, in days to come. And that's where I'm going to end the reading of portion one, because otherwise I won't make it, and then, but uh, anyhow, uh, my assistant has come, Linda, and now she's going to shut me down. I'm going to shut you down. Bye for now. God bless.